Hey y'all, it's Rev Tommy Two Tone. Rick the Village Tolidiot. We're coming to you today with another review, another one for Ed Curry and Pucker Butt Pepper Company. But before we get into the review, I just want to feed a troll for once and only time. I have a troll and he uh, kind of made fun of me on a video. I scratched my nose and he even went on to Ted's video and said it was a bona fide pick. And I don't care about all that, it doesn't matter. But but he's, uh, I've noticed, and the reason I call him a troll, I would have let that comment go, but I've seen him make nothing but negative comments when he makes comments. And he makes, well, Bishop Brad did a uh, video, and he said, thank God it wasn't another um, pucker butt infomercial. Well, let me tell you why we're doing pucker butt saucers. Because Ed personally contacted Bishop Brad and myself, and maybe a few others, sent us his entire line of sauces, mustards, sauces, and popcorns, and we're reviewing them for him because he was kind enough to send them. Now, I'll say this. It's not an infomercial. I'm not going to tell you to go get somebody's sauce if I don't like it. You can go back and check my old videos. There's videos where, a couple where we actually threw one in the garbage, I mean. Yep. So, it's not just because, you you know, he sent me free sauce doesn't mean I'm automatically going to like it. But let me tell you what, why I have liked his sauces. He uses fresh ingredients, he uses organic ingredients, he knows how to mix them and blend them properly and it makes a great sauce. Yes it does. So, to, and that's it Troll, that's all I'm doing for you. Um, I noticed no. well, he's trolled Ted, me, and Bishop hey. Brad. I, I guess Frank, you're, you're probably next. You better watch out for him. But that's okay. Because guess what? If you got a troll, it means you've got, finally got there, right? I guess I mean, so. I don't know. There's just people that are negative, and it's sad. Especially with all the really sad things going in our world today and yeah. things that happened yesterday in Boston. And we got to worry about some idiot making comments on our negative comments we on our videos. We don't have to worry about it. We're above that, and we're that's beyond right. it. And I don't so. even mean idiot. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call him an idiot. You but know? you know what? It's in the past, um, and we're, we're, we're right. moving on and moving forward. So, yeah, uh, we're going to forgive him, too, because I don't know where he's coming from. I don't know what his deal is. No. Uh, I did block him. He probably not even going to see this, but that's okay if he does. Uh, but that, but but let's get back to the review. Back Nobody to wants to What are we doing today, drama. my friend? What are we doing? We today? are doing um, from Pucker Butt Ben's Smoking Hot Raz Booty. Raz Booty. I've been looking forward to this one. Listen to this. This is a mash of ripened, cold washed Carolina raspberries. Yum. Fused with a special Pucker Butt pepper blend. Don't let the sweetness fool you. The sauce won't be. The only thing smoking. All right, man. Pucker Butt Pepper Company's goal is to provide our customers with the healthiest and best tasting pepper pr products available. We use only 100% natural and organically grown ingredients, no extracts. Thank you for choosing Pucker Butt, and we hope you enjoy the savory taste of our products. Please visit our website to learn more. In the description box, there will be a link to the website, which is www. PuckerButtPepperCompany.com. Remember, all that's one word: www.PuckerButtPepperCompany. Spell out company.com. Like I said, a link will be in there. On heat, on the heat index from Ed, he gives it a three out of five. Um, I'm gonna tell him all that. Got it. You just, just do let it. Let me get to it. You just do it. Okay, it is gluten free. Um, it has no GMO products and no peanut products. No peanut products. So uh, it is they, dis distributed by the Pucker Butt Pepper Company. I think they got everything covered. But I mean, it's it, it's. I'm, look at those. Look at those ingredients. What are those? Yeah. Well, I mean, the ingredients are basically vinegar, raspberries, and peppers. That's it. Now, there's Can't no sodium. There's no carbs. There's really no total fat. Uh, it says the serving size is a quarter ounce. Quarter ounce, there's 20, si that means 20 per, per bottle because it's a five ounce bottle. Um, I mean, I've said all I'm, I'm going to say about it until we, we actually crack it open. I'm not using a knife. Last time I did that, it was disastrous with one of Ed's sauces. Besides that, it's easy to piece he's got it off. Yeah, he's got it uh, perforated. So, you know, per Man, all right, we're gonna it says shake well and refrigerate after opening. So, we'll do all that too. Get it shake good well. and shake well. Yeah, that looks good, man. Let me show you the label real quick before we get us a whiff of it. Yes. This is a South Carolina style sauce, which means it is going to be vinegary. And let me tell you, the South Carolinians and some North Carolinians, they Carolinians, they love their sauces thin and vinegary. I spent uh, 
uh, quite a little bit of time in uh, South Carolina as a United States Marine yes, sir. and as a recruit yes, sir. at Paris Island. And I spent quite a bit of time at uh, Camp Lejeune, North Carolina. Fell in love with the way they do their barbecue sauces and barbecues up there. It's not the thick of um, sweet molasses, you know, thick. Right. It's more of a vinegary, mustardy stuff. But here we go. Okay, first of all, take, that reducer. take the reducer off. I see chunks of raspberry in there, maybe some mm -hmm. chunks of peppers. Mm -hmm. I smell the vinegar. I smell some peppers. Vinegar strong. Yep. That just smells total like delicious. Instead, I'm gonna pour some on a chip because that's what I have. And I'm gonna go a little more bold than Tom did. I like to go. Oh, up. That's why we call him the Village Salidia. Mmm. Well, let me say this to you. Speaking mm. of that, we're going to be cranking the Chili Head Challenge back up next Tuesday, a week from today. Ooh. Ooh. So, um. Uh, mmm. I'll wipe that off later. I'm not, I'm not going to. Ooh. Woo. It's got a kick. With the raspberry, mm. I believe it gives it. Mmm. A pepper jelly flavor. Now it's yeah. got a good even mouth burn. I feel it on my tongue. A little bit on the throat. Hold on. Okay. Man. I want some more too. This stuff's good. You can have a little more. But this ain't your sauce here. This is my sauce. I know. I'm just letting you use it out of the kindness of my heart. Uh-huh. What do you bring to the table besides being an idiot? That's what I thought. Now, let's move on. What do you think about the sauce, seriously? Oh, now he wants to know what I bring to the table. Okay. <laughs> well, that's what I mean. What do you bring to the table? Come oh, on. When you start eating, I'll tell you. What I think about this sauce, I like the fact that it tastes fresh. It gets, a, you do, the vinegar and the pepper gives you an initial bite when you, when you, when you taste it, but it's not, it's not so hot that it's painful. It just gives it a little ting, a tingling feeling, but I, but I love the taste of the raspberry, and, and I'm with you. It's kind of like, not really like a jelly, but kind of like, well, like a mashed preserve. You know, like if you just took them and just smashed them all down, like the mash says. I like this. I really do. And Let me tell you what I would do with it. Biscuits, sausage, chicken. Salad dressing. Oh, that would be awesome too, yeah. On any kind of salad with some meat strips on it, like chicken strips or pork strips or steak strips, that'd be good. You know, that'd pair well with beef. A lot of hot sauces don't pair exactly well with beef, a lot do. But that raspberry taste, the sweetness with the vinegar and, and the peppers, that would pair very well with beef. Absolutely. Um, and for a non chili head, that this might be a little too hot for them. I mean, but the peak of it doesn't last that long. My neighbor's coming closer with the lawnmower. She don't obviously see that we have a camera out here. We're trying to do a review, but nobody ever said that you know, people around here have brains to, I guess she wants to get her grass cut. But I'm just on a roll today. I'm yeah, he's stuck between somebody with no brains and a village chill idiot. How about that? <laughs> well, anyway, uh, I'm rocking the Alabama gear today, although I'll be rocking my Steelers gear before long because the NPL's coming up. NPL, baby. National Pepper League. I'm, I'm very honored to be a part of those uh, 16 hot sauce makers. Bugs. Yes. Uh, and I, I've already determined that even if I finish in 16th place, I'm already a winner. You are a winner. Absolutely, um, man. Because it's going to be awesome. And so, I guess the rating I would give this would be probably a good 8 out of 10. Which, uh, on flavor. On heat, 5 out of 10. You know, on the heat, it, I'll go with a 5 out of 10. And on the flavor, you know, I'm going to go with a 7. I like it. Um, not as much as I do, obviously. Not as much as you do. <laughs> I like it, though. Raspberry is just not my favorite one of my favorite berries or fruits but this i do like it's not overpowering it doesn't it's and it's not like an artificial anything because it's all natural stuff but this right. i do like it it's right. a very good and uh, overall though man uh this is a good one and uh, I'd, I'd definitely tell people to uh, buy it because i can see this going into a lot of stuff and on stuff and how it's going to be very very good yes i'd highly recommend it ed once again a great product yeah appreciate absolutely. what you do for the community and for the um 
the chili heads and, and the industry. And so uh, for uh, Rev Tommy Two Tone, I am Rick the Village Chilidiot. We'll see you on the next video. God bless.